Welcome! Hey, we got some great new swag to sell ya! Um, so between episodes, I went nuts. I have bought everything here, except for one little thing. And I have turned to gold because of how much coin grinding I had to do. Total amount equals about 100,000 coins or so, because this kingdom has the best coin grinding thing. Me? Have friends? Ha! <laughs> Yeah, this is kind of a sad thing where, hey, yeah, I could be spending time with friends if I had any. Instead, here I am, grinding 100,000 coins. It took a long time, but thankfully, that's what good soundtracks are for. Hey, everybody, or feel is here. Welcome back to Super, Super Mario Odyssey. Last time, we went through the Cascade Kingdom, cleaning that the up, and this time, well, here in the um, Bowser Kingdom, since we're on this island, here's Peach here in a lovely kimono. La Bowser's Castle. I think this is the first time I've come here on my own two feet. Whatever its history, this castle is simply splendid. And a blob power moon fell down from the sky. You should probably take it. Alright, Peach in Bowser's Kingdom. Going to go to the Sand Kingdom next? Yeah, about that. I'll see you elsewhere. So, we're going to be cleaning up Bowser's Kingdom this episode. Hopefully going to do it in one go. So yeah, so Bowser's Kingdom, there's quite a bit here. We're going to get started here at the Central Keep, where are the uh, um, two things that we need for upkeep are. The very first thing that we need is right here. And this is Hintart that will lead us to the Sand Kingdom. And ironically, there is something in the Sand Kingdom that will lead us here to Bowser's Kingdom for Hintart that only spawns in the post game. Yeah. So I guess with that, we got ourselves a blob power block, so let's send this to the moon. Alright, we have a lot of fun stuff here. And some very cool stuff at that too. So I guess kind of going on the whole, the world's ending thing. Anyways, right back there are two challenges that will actually save for last because... Optimal routing! So yeah, so, whole Bowser's Kingdom, the atmosphere is beautiful. I will say that yes, but again, bottomless pits everywhere and then all this guy in Ozone probably couldn't be good for the atmosphere, so... Probably heavily impacted by whatever happened on the moon. Because something bad must have happened up there. Anyways, here in the post games, when slingshots will be available to fling you back and forth. So, I'm ahead and taking this moon pipe and heading on to the first to the first of two new sections here. This one oh this one! This is probably one of my favorite sections here because we got ourselves some uh rocks here playing Vajinka. And we got a hexagon tower, so each one of these little areas has something in it. That one's number two. Next up, okay. We got this little area in here. Just some coins. So yeah, so Bowser's Kingdom has probably two of my favorite little um, side areas in it. Alright, play your little, uh, Pachinko. I mean, it's weird, this is a Mario game, not a Konami game. So next up, inside this little quadrant, we have ourselves a hidden moon. Well, I guess another shard here. So every single one of these little towers has something, has a, a moon shard in it. Nope. There we go. Hexagonal Pajinko. That actually be kind of cool. All right, letting the moon rock fall on down. So yeah, so the moon rocks probably did something very bad here. Anyways, inside this little room, we get ourselves a key. That'll lead up to a power moon, so hooray! Huzzah! Two of them done it done at once, so this room is pretty cool. Using 3D environments to the best effect. So we searched the hexagon tower. And we found the center of the hexagon tower. Very cool stuff indeed. So we're done in this little section. Next up, taking this slingshot and we get launched all the way up here. 
Not the first area would have gone. So I guess next up, I want to take you. No, I don't want to take you. Poor little Pokio. I just wanted to capture it and instead it flung itself to its death. So the reason we want to take a Pokio is that down here we got some blocks that have spawned. Get out of here, Pokies. I guess Spinies. Alright, cool. So yes, there's a little block down there that you need to uh, time your Smart Bomb with. Pretty cool moon, all things considered. Kind of doing this a little backwards, but I'll take it. Inside a block at the gate. So yeah, so I'll be honest, Bowser's Kingdom is probably one of my favorites to clean up. All the uh, moons here are pretty alright. Mario, please. So I don't want to uh, roll. Oh, I remembered something I need to do first. And that's actually, I need a Pokio. Because there's something that does spawn here that does need a Pokio. Hooray for crap memory that somehow remembers at the last minute. Cappy, please, I want to catch the Pokio. These Pokios are cute. Okay. Yes, they control like butt, but they're cute. Just gotta remember to spin, because that will be important in a couple minutes. So here's Pokio's big adventure. The reason why is because on the back side of this little, um, on the back side of this roof, yep, we have ourselves another Bonneton. Huzzah! One of those animals with the searchable beak. I have so wanted to see one up close. So the beak rapidly opens from a microfolded state. Yes, I'm confident that I understand this odd beast fully. Huzzah! I met a Pokio! Yeah, Pokios are cute. So heading on over here, we got ourselves another slingshot. That'll lead us to the other, uh, I guess, moon, moon, uh, pipe of the kingdom. And this room is also pretty cool, even though this is also another one of those Tokyos are kind of meh. So the very first thing that we are going to do is head on to the backside. Pop on over into here for the power moon of this little area. Poke the wooden tower. There we go. Um, please, there we go. So that's a head moon here. Very well hid, but not too difficult. The actual level is a little bit harder. So here you got to, um, time yourself with the Pokios. Don't thing yourself haphazardly. Or if you want to, you can. No stopping. So here you got to time yourself right. Carefully you don't get, uh, Pokioed. So spin jumps, we'll be able to break some of the level. There we go. There might be some stuff down there, but not my biggest concern. Alright. So riding this tower up. Alright, almost there. Not too bad. I will say that the uh, regular one that you have to climb the tower from the bottom all the way up is harder than that one, but... Not too bad. Yeah, it's been a few days since I last recorded because, obviously, trying to grind all this money up is not an easy thing, to say the least. So, getting flung up to this little region. Not the area I wanted to be, but we'll manage. So, next up, we're going to dive down into the water here. Into the moat with beautiful Koi. And that is because inside one of these boxes, I think it's over here. Yep, right there. Aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, from crates in the moat. Very nice. So next up, we're going to take this little thing and look around the sky a little bit. Because once you know it, it's another Sphinx.
All right, not too bad. That's a very long animation for sure. Yeah. Sphinx over Bowser's castle. So next up, we are going to head right here. So located here, we got ourselves um, talking to there, but more importantly, right over here, we have ourselves the uh, Koopa race of the region. We're the roving racers. We rove to grow racing in every game that we can get to. Want to race, bro? I'm in. So we got to get all the way from the start of the kingdom, all the way through that, through that, and back to the very start. So it's all downhill from here. So, only real thing I have here is, um, just doing that. Because you can do quite a considerable jump here. And then, roll like you never rolled before. <laughs> well, that Pokeo just uh, did friendly fire. That's really it. This kingdom is a very long roll. Besides the camera strap. Thankfully, it's not too pressing of a matter. So yeah, so you can do battling and still make up a lot of time. The only issue with this race, though, is that it's the longest in the game. Like, two and a half minutes for, like, the world record, or something like that. It's definitely longer than, uh, most other kingdoms. Wow, I'm dying a lot. It's called damage boosting, okay? Yeah, I probably should play the rest of this race a little safe. Because it's a long one. Yeah, a minute in. When most races can be done in like 30 seconds. Hi, Sarah Ogre. I'm just gonna be ignoring you. So yeah, as you can see, we still have a little bit of ways to go. It's a long one. I'll probably be cutting out the other race though, since I'll be following the same route. It's just minor skips here. Like here you don't want to roll instead. Dive jumps are the best, but... Alright. Out of the danger zone. So, let's finish up this race. A minute 35, not terrible. I think the world record's like a minute 14 or something like that. I'm not really paying too much attention to the aisles, but... Aisles are definitely fun. Unless you're playing Xenoblade, and then... It gets very competitive. Hooray for using Forbidden Arts! Alright then, so, we get ourselves one with the Golden Koopa, so, Golden Mario vs. Golden Koopa. A race for the ages. Minute 26. Not too bad. I had a little bonk in there, but it's just a long race. But it is kind of fun. Blazing fast, bro. Here's the prize of Law Power Moon. Yeah. So, with that all done, our next destination is going to be on top of the pagoda. Where he gets the top to keep. So inside here, I'm going to avoid the rapids instead, come up here, because on top of this one we got something glowy. Hooray! Got that done. Alright, next destination is going to be on the next island. That's because we got another vibration thing that we need to look for. Thankfully, the thing we got to do is right over here where the birds are. Really easy to discover. Now, where is this vibration at? Right over here. There we go. Yeah. Okay, then back here at the keep, our next destination is going to be right over here on this side of the keep because we got ourselves a uh, hat challenge here. But we got to make a leap of faith. 
So trust your instincts. Land there. And dive there. Yeah! So we are done in this general upper region. I want to save those two, that region, for last. So we're going to return to the very start of the odd of the kingdom. Hooray! And we're not going to turn in our moons yet. Oh no, I want to uh, have a UI disaster. Oh, that's right. We got to go to this kingdom first, to this island first. That's because the door is locked. Thankfully, Bowser had the uh, good idea to lock the doors before he leaves. However, though, there is an issue with him locking the doors. He didn't think about people that can go from the end to the start. So with that, the doors will be open now. No long, so it's now welcoming in the Toads to begin their conquest of the Bowser Kingdom. Hooray for global war! So then this next moon is kind of interesting. You gotta sneak up on the birds and you gotta throw your cap. But the bird is easily scared. Thankfully, all you gotta do is come here to the very end. First person. Look at the thing. Oh look, we got the moon. That's cause, well, not really for sure, just let the bird despawn. Go in first person so that way the bird's off screen and boom, you get it instantly. Hooray for glitches and fun things you learn while watching speedruns. Even though I don't actually speedrun this game. Alright then, so starting up here on the third island, what we want to do is head back to the start because we can kind of see the pathway and there is a moon, so shake and you will automatically get this moon. Yeah! Oh, can't return back right now. Oh well, I think it's faster just to uh, return back using the pylon. So our next thing that we need to do is head on to the next island. Hello there, Mr. Stayer Ogre. Don't mind me. Or I guess Stairface Ogre. I like Stair Ogre better. And we're also back to the great music. So anyways, our next destination is going to be back here where the Pokios are. Because there's actually two new moons here. On this island. And they both pertain to the Pokios. So, hooray. Hello there, Pokio. I'm going to need your assistance because we get ourselves a challenge here. Weaving. Yeah, I wanted a poke to the side. Now then, Mr. Pokio. Will you be so kind as to point me in the right direction? So upon, uh, flinging himself back and forth. You can do spin to, uh, go a little bit better. And spin will be probably helpful for getting that moon. Not too bad. Yeah, taking notes on the wall. But we're not done here with Pokio yet. Instead, our next goal is going to be on the other side of the wall. Guess something that was confused whether or not it spawned now or later. It spawns now, so we gotta take Pokio over to this wall. Camera, please. There we go. There is a little hole in the wall, so poke, release, poke. There we go. Now we gotta get it on top of the wall. There we go. Down with Pokios, hooray! Behind the tall wall, poke poke. I agree, poke poke. So we're done on that island. So here inside the uh, smart bombing island, where the second story moon was, our goal is going to be right back here because we have a little thing there, and we got some spark pylons. Screw that noise. I got Cappy. So I'll just do that. And grab me Moon here. Yeah! Stonewall Circuit. So I think we're done in that region. Just look at my list real quick, making sure I only have three left. No, four. Yeah, four left. So our next goal is going to be, um, you know, we'll, we'll start here. Trust me, there is a reason why I'm doing all this fancy routing, and that's so that way I can line up my end of the kingdom with the with the uh, painting that leads to the next kingdom. So our next goal is going to be right out this way. We have ourselves a series of flags. So adjust your camera, hop across, don't go up so high. Hop across, hop across. All right, we live somehow. Um. 
Okay, it wasn't letting me climb. Yeah, the camera here, you gotta adjust manually because the automatic camera ain't the greatest. Yeah, I jumped there. Okay, we're safe. Jump across. If it weren't for Cappy, this moon would be literally impossible. Well, not literally impossible, but... Definitely way more harder than it should be. Alright then. Stressful! Jumping from flag to flag. Alright then, so next up, we have ourselves two new moons here where the boss arena used to be. Heading on here first up, we have ourselves a new enemy that only spawns in the post game, UFO. Here? My recommendation is, well, waiting for Gumas to stack up. Let it do its thing. Pop, disengage, and ground pound it up. So that's UFO. It's essentially a mini boss, and it's only two hits instead of the usual three for your Mario enemies. Yeah. There we go. So spin jump to make things a little faster. And there we go. And right where the gods used to be, too. Very nice. Yeah! Invader in Bowser's Castle, and it's not the Toads either. Alright then, so last up we have ourselves this. We got things in a circle. So use Cappy's spin throw to make this a little bit easier, or if you struggle with that, just use the homing capabilities. Alright. Spin throw. Yeah, this is really bad. So, yeah, so you gotta physically jerk your controller. That's one. Second physical jerk. And third physical jerk. There we go. Only a couple tries. Yeah, I think they'll say you have to fling both your Joy-Cons to the right instead of just once. That took me a long time in my practice file because in my original practice file I was using the Joy-Cons connected so I just had a shake and it was pretty easy to do but here I only have, I haven't detached so when I swing one it flings Cappy one side so kind of a mad thing but meh. So we are done here in the kingdom. If we look to our list we don't have anything left to do. We've got all the challenges except for one and that's literally the hint art and we are done here in the kingdom. So let's exit the kingdom and head to, to the seaside. Alright, back here in Seaside, I'm going to take my uh, moon and my flag. And we have achieved a secret path to Bubble Lane. Next time in Super Mario Odyssey. Once I get things back more into control for myself, we are going to clean up Bubble Lane because Bubble Lane's routing is very fun. I will see you all then. <laughs>